Hey people, this is we 187 and welcome back to my Let's Play of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. In the last part, we, uh, we kind of just got here. It's been, it hasn't been, it has actually hasn't been too long since I recorded last. Not, I mean, in, you know, speaking in terms of me, you know, I'm pretty good about not recording and I'm actually recording now, so that's good. Or, you know what I meant to say. I don't know. I don't know. But here, here we go. Let's just go. It doesn't matter. Sora, you've done well. Where's Kyrie? Who knows? I expect she's catching up with her friend from the darkness. What do you mean? She doesn't need you anymore. I'm supposed to believe that? Well, you don't have to. But you can believe this. Organization 13 has no further use for you. Just look there. Our kingdom hearts. Thanks to you, we've collected countless hearts. Can you hear their euphoria? Now all they need is one more helping from the Keyblade Bearer. Oh boy. It's just a bunch of shadows. And you know, the thing I don't get is shadows don't release hearts. O only the Emblem Heartless release hearts. The Pure Bloods don't do anything. Kingdom Hearts. Sora. So, like, why send Shadow Heartless Sora, after them? It's really you, Kairi. Huh? You leave Sora alone. Sora. Take it. This time, I'll fight. You know Sora's completely hopeless without us. Come on, Riku. Well, well. Will the intrusions never end? <laughs> yeah, just run away. This castle is perfect. Uh-huh. Perhaps we should uh, acquire it. Well, the setup is, is kind of nice, I guess. But what about all the heartless? Oh, this in-between world, it, it's way too close to the darkness. They ain't gonna listen to us here. Once again, you underestimate me. You know, Maleficent and Peter just like, uh, they're almost like filler enemies at this point, which is a real shame. I mean, they're cool, but like, in Kingdom Hearts 1, they were so, I mean, just Maleficent, she was so, you know, such a danger, and now she's almost like a Team Rocket sort of villain, which is, you know, I don't know. Not that I mind too much, because, uh, you know, she stepped aside to let a lot of cooler villains, like, enter in, but still, you know. Yeah, look at Mickey run. We got a lot of cutscenes, so yeah. That's why I wanted to keep the last episode a little short, is because I knew that we would have a lot of cutscenes. It's been too long, my friend. Ansem the Wise, why didn't you come to me before things got so bad? Zemnus, the organization superior, is the nobody of Xehanort, my foremost apprentice. The burden was mine to bear. Is that all? I won't deny there was more. I was obsessed with thoughts of revenge. My apprentices stole everything precious to me. My research and my pride. I can't help you with revenge. I know. Riku's told me a thousand times. Where is he? 
He must be with his friends by now. Riku was a great help to me. I found him wandering the darkness after you and he lost track of each other. Gosh, we didn't lose each other exactly. Riku left, well, because Xehanort's Heartless was still inside his heart, troubling him. And he sure must have been suffering. But what I don't understand is why he looks like that now, when he's still Riku at heart. I am to blame. When I met Riku the first time, he still had the appearance of a boy. Probably because he had such a strong heart. I asked him to find a young man named Roxas from Organization 13 and bring him to me. When I told him it would help Sora awaken from his slumber, Riku left without a word. He fought Roxas, and I can only surmise Riku lost that fight. Riku must have realized then, to fight in the realm of darkness, he would have to immerse himself in that same darkness. And when he did, you saw what became of him. When Riku brought Roxas back to me, he was introducing himself as Hansen. If that was what it took to awaken his friend, he was ready to live in darkness. Riku was the victim of my revenge. Oh, how my heart ached. I could only laugh to hide my shame. I guess it must have been after that when I saw Riku again. He said he wanted to help Sora, but he made me promise. Promised that Sora wouldn't ever find out about what happened to him while he was out in the darkness. My friend, the time has come. I must make amends to these young people. That shot right there, I think it's so cool, just like, you know, the friendship of like, an old man and Mickey Mouse, it's just like, oh, that's, that's so brilliantly done. I love it. What's going on? Good boy. Show yourself. Oh, it sounds like you haven't. Sora, Roxas. Roxas? Hey, did he just call me Roxas? You really put Organization 13 in a pickle. I guess that must be why the Keyblade chose you. But man, did it pick a dud this time. You don't look like you're half the hero the others were. Are you done rambling? Rambling? As if. All I'm trying to tell you, traitor, is that your time is up. Here he comes! Okay, well, I didn't mean for this to be a take two, but I was actually, I I did something stupid and I died, so I'm just going to act like this is take one here and just ignore that take completely. Um, now, what you have to do here is you just got to, like, dodge his bullets until you can break it with the reaction command, and then he'll come down. It's really easy. Yeah, and then he comes down, and then it's, it, it, oh, I didn't change the keyblade again. I was just saying, oh, I should switch back to decisive pumpkin, and then I don't. When I die and have the chance to switch back to it's a decisive pumpkin, but whatever. Maybe if I die again, which hopefully I don't, then I'll switch back. If I remember, but I should remember. That would be very stupid of me if I don't remember. And look at that, Donald's already dead and Goofy's almost dead. We see, we're doing, like, decisive pumpkin is just so useful because you deal so much more damage with it. So, okay, this isn't that hard, this part right here. You just gotta, um... Alright, when, when he reloads, then you can just run up to him and attack, and once you get a combo on him, then... Oh, he, sh he should have transformed back, but I guess not. 
Alright, come on. My air combo is too long. There we go. Okay, and then you just go back to attacking him. And it's not too bad, but when you're fighting his data battle later, like, it's gonna get a lot harder because he doesn't have to reload. So you kind of lose out on that chance. And But, you know, the strategies for the two fights are really different, so you can't really compare one with the other. Here, I should probably send a cure soon. There we go. And uh, for those, if, if you just, oh, if you warp snipe, you can, like, do the same thing like you do with the enemies, you know, for his nobodies and stuff. So it's not too bad. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, it doesn't deal that much damage, but it's a way of at least staying invincible for a little while while he's, you know, doing whatever he's trying to do to you. But you don't deal that much damage. Okay, here he's doing this again. And if you notice, the layout of the floor changes each time. And eventually it's going to start changing to, like, one that you, you actually can't cancel by attacking him. And you're just going to have to live through it. And that's actually the one I died on, which is funny, because usually I don't die on those. But, you know, whatever. Alright. Okay, let's at least... At least we're dealing, doing some damage. I'm trying to get my MP to recharge, which is... That's the nice thing about the warp snipes, is that you can, like, do it while you're waiting for your MP... While you're waiting for your MP to recharge, because it's, like, a thing to do where you won't get hit, and it's, like... I don't know. It's nice. Okay, this is where you got to watch out. Now, um... Yeah, just keep running in a circle here. You don't want to get caught by this. So whatever you do, just keep running in a circle. And do not stop running in a circle. You have to sort of time it really well. But if you do, then you're good, you know. And it's oh, it's nerve-wracking, though. I, I don't like it. And, you know, if, if, you're, if you're low on HP and that happens, just, um, you know, make sure you heal up right away. That's why I have ethers and stuff, you know. Ethers. I used to call them ethers, like, way back in the day. And it took me so long to get used to calling them ethers. But then I finally did. I think because, uh... Oh, why did I call? Why did I start calling it ether? I think it was because um, NCS started calling it ethers or something, and I was like, "Oh, that's how you say it." And yeah, it is how you say it. And I didn't know. Um, I'm pretty sure there was something else too. I don't know what it was, but you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. All right, cool. We got another. All right, let's get ready to warp tonight. Yeah, there we go. Oh man, I missed it. It's hard to get those reaction commands sometimes, and I gotta heal. I gotta heal really soon. Alright, well, I'm just trying to do this until my MP refills. Come on, MP. I believe in you. Oh. Oh, that was close. That was too close. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Alright, please work. Alright. Well... All right, we're gonna have to do it this way then. Oh boy, I didn't ex I didn't expect to have to go into a drive form just to recover from that. But yeah, at least you know what? Maybe we'll kill him in drive form. It depends. All right, and the nice thing, every time you attack, you're actually defending yourself too, which is cool. Oh, um, here we go. So at least we can show off final form a little bit. We got lucky. We got so lucky because I didn't have an ether ready and he was killing me. Um. Alright, hopefully we'll be okay here. Yeah, he does this a lot, and it's so annoying, because it's so hard to control, like, going in a circle and stuff. It's like, like, do a spread eagle. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, okay, good. Alright, good. I'm happy, I'm happy. We got this, we got this now. We just gotta beat him. Come on, do it. Alright, there we go, do a warp snipe. We got one more bar left. We're not going to lose now. This fight actually is not hard, so... Alright, just got to focus here. Donald, don't get in my way. Alright. At least we have an MP bar, so... And I don't know what's... I have Fyraga, okay. Well, I'm not gonna... Fyraga is a pain to deal with. I'll watch him do it again, like, one last time before we are able to kill him. That's gonna be so annoying if he does. Yep. That's what I thought. Alright. Don't screw this up.
All right. Oh my god. Yes, just get him. There we go. All right, we get max MP increase, an item slot for Donald, and HP for Goofy. That was harder than I expected it to be. But, yeah, there you go. It's going to be a long episode. Eh, no, not too long, actually, because I had that failed take. That's why it's a little longer than usual. Why did you call me Roxas? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Hey, hold on. Sora and Rico are together. We have no part to play here. Gee, I wonder if Riku will ever change back. Riku chose that form so he could use the power of darkness. It won't be easy. Kyrie, we're on our way. And with that, we get, uh, Ansem's Secret Report 3, Secret Ansem's Report, whatever, whichever way it works. And now, while I remember, I'm going to go, uh, switch out, go back to, if I can find it. Where'd it go? Alright, right there, yeah, Decisive Pumpkin. Because I love that Keyblade so much. And I'm sorry, I know it doesn't look amazing, but, you know, whatever. It's, the be it's like the best Keyblade. I almost hold it in higher regard than I do the Ultima weapon, in a sense, which is, I know that's kind of weird since it's just a normal Keyblade, but I just love the, the Decisive Pumpkin so much, it does everything so well. Um, oh wait, we're gonna have some, you know what, I'm gonna end it off here, just cause we're, like, my recording says 22 minutes, and I know it's more like, not that long, oh, I can talk to you. What's going on? Ansem was fighting alongside Kyrie. anyway, Kyrie's under attack, we have to go help her. And it doesn't look like we can get to Kyrie directly from here. I know you're in a hurry, but we need to take that path over there. Yeah, I know, I know. Actually, we're going to go take this path over here and save, because it's been a while, so we have to save. You know, we save in the same spot. It feels like we made no progress, but we actually did. We did a boss, so that's really what matters. And in the next part, we'll go see if we can catch up with Kyrie and Ansem or Riku, and or Riku, whichever one that is, that may be. Although we, you know, it's Riku, probably. Um, I know, but, you know, whatever. Which do I save on? Yeah, I want to save here. Okay, j I'm just making sure, because I have my two save files, like, you know. So in the next part, we'll go do that, and, um, I'll try and record the next one soon. Uh, yeah, I will, I will. I'll try. I'll try my best. So, yeah, see you soon.